Great to say hello. He's been terrific for me. Uh, he's terrific to John. I know he's a big fan. So I thank all of you for coming tonight. And let me tell you a little story about 2009. If we go back not too far, right? There was this guy that was running for a position that people said he can't win. He doesn't have the conservative lines. He's against the Spano machine. <laughs> running against two Spanos, Nick and Andy. And you know what? We won. And you know what? I think Phil Rison's column today was perfecto. It said exactly what needed to be said. And let me tell you something. I think the opposition, the Democratic opposition, is expecting people to sort of forget. Expecting people to think that, you know what, I don't have to do anything, I don't have to say anything until election night, I'll just come out and give my victory speech. But you know what, the people of this city are pretty damn smart. They know what's going on, they know the history, they know the progress that has been made over the last eight years, and I don't think they want to scrap that. And I think people today are really looking for leadership. They're, they're, they're tired of the bull that's in politics, they're tired of the double talk, they're tired of the deals, they're tired of all the stuff that we know the Spanos are so famous for. And so I think we've got a real legitimate chance to win this race. And if I didn't, I wouldn't be here at 9 o'clock, I'd be home watching the Yankees. <laughs> I'll tell you something, we have a legitimate chance to win this race. And John needs our help, that's why I'm helping, that's why you're in this room. There's how many days left, John? Five weeks. <laughs> Five weeks. We can win this. John's working hard. All the council candidates that are running on the Republican ticket, we all have a great shot. And let me tell you something. If anyone says, and I don't care what race it is, you can't win on one line. See Amicone slash Phil. Okay? It happened. And by the way, see who we meet. Spano, comma, Mike. So we can win this race. It takes hard work, and John is working hard. It takes good ideas, John has it. And let me tell you, you need three things, I believe, three things uh, to be successful in this business. You have to have a head. You've got to be smart. You've got to know how to spend public dollars wisely, wisely to use, uh, and make sure we have services that are done efficiently. John has that. You have to have a heart. In this business, we take care of people. This is a people business. And no matter how difficult it is, there are people who need help. But you also have to have a third part of the body that most politicians don't have. You have to have a spine. Because when it gets tough, you've got to be able to stand up for what you believe in no matter what others are saying. And I know John has a spine. So he's got make him out to be a Mr. Potato Head, but he's got all three things, and they're in the right place, and John can win this. So help me, help the city, let's get out there over the next five weeks, and let's elect the mayor who is best suited for this city, who can take us forward again, and that is John Murtaugh.